There are some basic points to be observed when installing the Hill Tefra coupler. Mounting brackets for hose clamps should be carefully positioned and painted after welding. When installing hydraulic hoses, ensure that they're run neatly and clamped to remain in the correct position. Take care to avoid any contamination and tighten all connections to eliminate any risk of leaks. Hoses should be positioned with the coupler crowded to prevent overstretching and damage to them. The special hill solenoid must be mounted safely inside the service access compartment. Care should be taken to position it where the hydraulic and electrical connections can be made without undue difficulty. The switch box should be mounted in a safe place and where it's easily accessible to the operator. Make sure all cables are secured and as far as possible run out of sight, protected where possible and routed to avoid chafing. Affix the instruction decal where it will be clearly visible to the operator without obscuring his vision. This machine is being fitted with an additional safety warning system called AWS. A suitable place must be found to install the sounder, which should face towards the working area of the machine. The coupler can now be fitted to the machine. Start by fitting the two hoses to the coupler. The external sheathing must be installed to protect the hoses from damage. is then attached using the OEM supplied pins and the hoses are then connected to the special mounting block. This block must only be positioned after the hose routing has been checked. At this point the coupler should be completely rotated in both directions to ensure that the hoses are not fouling anywhere and that there is sufficient room for them to move as necessary. It's extremely important to carry out a full function test once the installation is completed. Note that whilst the coupler is operating, the Hill AWS is giving an audible warning to the operator and any workers in the vicinity. The coupler must be rotated towards the operator or crowded to enable the Hill smart valve to function. Otherwise, the coupler will not open. Finally, apply the information decals on the dipper arm, clean up where necessary, and ensure that the Tefra user manual is left with the machine. <laughs>